Welcome back guys. Uh, we are going to do another JavaScript problem today. We are still level 7 and we came upon a level 5 question so we're going to go ahead and tackle that. Um, the harder and harder questions I get on this Code Wars, I'm just going to do those. So if you guys want me to go back to like level 6, level 7, or even if you want me to like hit the fundamentals and do more videos on those, I'm more than happy to do those. So, uh, But you got to let me know in the comments or whatnot. And right now, I have no idea who's watching these videos. I get like less than 10 views, so um, we'll see We'll see where it goes. But you get the idea. If you want something, let me know. All right, so this one's called Convert String to Camel Case. All right, cool. Complete the method function so that it converts dash underscore delimited words into camel casing. The first word within the in output should be camel case only if the original word was capitalized. So, so something like this. If the first word was capitalized, boom, we return that. Else, we return something like this. Pretty much capitalizing all the other words. Um, I think this is pretty simple. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it. So, I'm going to create a string array, and I'm going to split the string dot on. Ooh. I wonder what happens. Okay, cool. It's a good thing to test out. Um, if a string, I'm going to just steal this string. I, if I split it, so this is what happens. This is what I'm expecting it to happen. Boom, I'm going to get that. But what if I split it on something that's not existent? I just get, oh, I just get that. All right, and then maybe if they have a combination, that's going to even cause it's going to cause me more problems. Um, so let's see, let's see if any of our our tests give us that. Okay, none of our tests really give us that. Oh man, dang it, we don't have. Okay, I'm just going to run it. See if. Okay, empty string, blah, 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 camel case. Oh, cool. So they don't mix it up, which is good. All right, they don't mix it up. If they did mix it up, I would have to take a different approach, but right now they don't. So I think I'm just going to do like a conditional if the max of, we'll do the dash not equal negative one so if it's in there then we're going to split it on the dash Ooh. why did that one move all right we're gonna let string all right all right so if it's on the dash else we know it's gonna be we know it's gonna be on the underscore So we're going to change it to that. All right, cool. So now string array looks something like what we have here in our, in our console. Boom. It's going to look like that. And we're going to have to look at whether it was already capitalized. Um, but we do know that uh, they're not going to throw some weird all the words are capitalized at us. And so... So I'm wondering, I mean, if the tests are, if the tests are like really extensive, it's going to give us like an all caps word, and that's not even that extensive. But um, looking at these outputs, it seems pretty easy. We are going to, we're going to just straight up return the first word, okay? Um, let cc string. And we're just going to add on to these guys. Uh, we're going to use the for loop to go through um, the string array that we just created. OK. And so, and we're, how about we just go starting from the second? letter and we'll just make that one 
pick it after here so that it is all split. Zero. Okay, so you see string, string, not sting. String plus equals, um, and we're going to have to capitalize it. Uh, let's see, capitalize. We're just going to use that function. Um, now let's just make that function. Taking a string there, and we're going to return uh, str of zero plus f two up upper case plus str dot slice of that. Cool. So I should capitalize it, and we're capitalizing everything else. So um, capitalize. Alright. Did I spell that right? I think so. Return cc string. Uh, this is a string. Okay, so no need to join or anything. Oh, I filled everything. Great. <laughs> Alright, two camel keys. Didn't I return the correct value? I expected that I instead got t function. What the frick? Capital eyes. Uh, maybe our capitalized function is broken. Let's, let's test it. The good thing about making helper functions and stuff, you can test stuff like this and know what's screwing you up. That's already capitalized. Oh, shoot. Okay, so this is the one that's checking it out. Um, all right, then let, let's, how about we use this other format then? Uh, exit load capitalize. Oh, what the freak is going on? Function on it. Oh, because I freaking. There we go. Terrible. I should get rid of some errors. Let's see. Alright, so it took care of that. And it looks like the empty string re uh, was provided but not returned expected. An empty string was provided, got undefined. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that with the base case. The stealth warrior did not return correct value. Expected that got T. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Whoa, what the heck? I thought string... Oh, I need to do that on string array. Okay, and we also need to get rid of this no string problem, which... I wonder. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. And if it had at least something, it would give us that. Okay. And so we want it to give us a null string back, so we'll just touch for that. If this jar equals that return return that. Give them what they gave us. Cool, all of these tests pass. And we'll submit it. That was convert string to camel case. We used the helper function. Cool, there you go. All right, so that was convert string to camel case.